Hey everyone, welcome back to another great episode of Sell Those Flipping Cars. I'm Zachary, and in today's episode, we're replacing the stabilizer bars on the 2003 Ford Taurus, so stay tuned. So, welcome back to another great episode. Today we're messing around with these stabilizer bars on the 2003 Ford Taurus. Even though I just got done throwing the thing back together, now it's time to get it ready to pass inspection. And to pass inspection, your stabilizer bars actually have to be in good working order. Now, these don't come with grease fittings on these, and that's fine, but the boot is what you're really concerned about take a look at it guys you want a boot let's focus there a little you want a boot that doesn't have any cracks anywhere in it now these these stabilizer bars i got as a pack on amazon i'm going to throw the link in the description down below but these stabilizer bars come with the ball joints the inner and outer tie rods all for like 50 bucks and they're from Detroit Axle, so they're still a good quality. That's why it's so crazy. That's why it's so crazy when you go to these auto repair shops and they charge you so much for the parts. But they're getting the parts the same place that you're getting the parts right here. Okay? Straight from the manufacturer. So that's how you're saving a lot of money on your parts. Because of all auto repair shops and dealerships have a markup to their parts and sometimes that markup can actually exceed 200 percent 200 percent isn't that crazy i mean i'm a mechanic and i make money off of working on other people's vehicles but this is an auto diy channel okay i want you to know how to work on your own vehicle so that's my goal on this channel so if you like the video Make sure you show your, su your support and hit that subscribe button in the lower right hand corner. Smash the like button if you like the video. So enough chatter. Let's get to actually replacing these stabilizer bars so you guys can uh, get your vehicle back to operating order and pass that inspection as well. So if you're lucky when you're trying to get the stabilizer bars off all you need is an 18 millimeter wrench your stabilizer bar is right here it's going to hook into your strut through this hole you see it so this hole right here that's where it goes through and it's held on by an 18 millimeter uh nut so the the new stabilizer bars are identical to these Unfortunately, these have been in here so long that they're seized up. And when that happens, we just got to cut it out. Just like a it's like a bad part. Just cut it out. It's okay. So I'm going to grab my cutoff wheel. We're going to zip this off real quick. This and the other side. And then I will show you guys how to put on the new ones. I will be right back. So there you have it. The passenger side came out. Uh, Real easy. It's a 17 millimeter. I don't know why it's 18 millimeter on mine uh, on the driver's side, but <clears throat> it didn't want to come out easy, so I went ahead and cut it out. And uh, now it's going to go ahead and replace it with the new one. And the passenger side gets its new one as well. Uh, remember, it's 17 millimeter and it's reverse thread. Um, well, not really reverse thread, but if you're looking at it, you'll have to unscrew it where it's going to the right and not the left. Okay? So don't be tightening it when you're supposed to be loosening it. <laughs> All right? So there you go, guys. Uh, the 2003 Ford Taurus stabilizer bar replacement. Um, remember, I went ahead and put the parts in the description down below. Uh, it's a really simple fix guys you take it out and you, you put the new one in Ugh, they're identical okay but look at that they face the same way they look the same they're just one's worn and one's not worn 
So, guys, if this video has actually helped you today fix your Ford Taurus and you want to see more auto DIY videos, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. Hit the like button if this video helped you out. And don't forget, uh, the parts are in the video description down below. Any, uh, <clears throat> they are linked to Amazon. It is an, it is an affiliate link. So I do make a commission off of it, but those commissions go towards better video equipment, you know, more lighting, stuff to make the, the experience better for you and for me. So, hey, thank you so much again, guys. Make sure you, you smash the like button. I always love to hear that you guys love the videos, but you know, that's all for this one. So until next time, oh, 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 oh. by the way, guys, Hey, uh, if you want to see a video that I have not done yet, throw it in the video description down below. Let me know what you want to see. I know someone out there wants to see the rear suspension on the town and country. I'm about to do the head gasket on the Ford Taurus, so definitely look out for that one. Uh, the ball joints, the inner and outer tie rods on the Ford Taurus are coming up. So definitely some ones out there. So if there's an idea of a video that you want to see, but you don't want to do it, <laughs> hey, put it in the comments section. I'll do it. All right. So, hey, thank you so much again, guys. Always love it that you came to watch my video. And uh, we just hit 61 subscribers. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Hey. Keep on wrenching, guys. I'll see you next time.